Hello, welcome to the video how to configure single sign-on with one login. Let's log in Salesforce and one login as an admin. In the one login portal, let's go to the Applications menu and then select Applications. Click on the Add App button and search for Salesforce in the search box. Select Salesforce, give it a display name, in my case, I'll leave the default name and save the changes. Once the Salesforce application was successfully added, let's start with the configuration option. Here, we need to add the login URL along with the org ID. So let's go back to Salesforce. In the quick find box, type company information. On the Salesforce.com organization ID, copy the 15 digits. Type the login URL and after the equal sign, paste the org ID. Leave the rest values as default and save the changes. Let's check now the parameters option. From here, you can map the Salesforce fields with the values in one login. In my case, I'm going to change the user ID with username and then save the changes. Now, let's go to the single sign-on option. On the SAML signature algorithm, I'm going to change it to SHA-256. Save the changes. Now, click on the view details under the certificate. Scroll down to the bottom and click on the download button. We'll need this certificate later. Click on back to certificate. Coming back to the single sign-on. And now it's time to go to Salesforce and configure the single sign-on from there. We'll come back to pick up these URLs. In the quick find box type single sign-on settings. Click on edit and activate SAML enabled. Now, under SAML single sign-on settings, click on the new button. Give a name to this single sign-on. On the entity ID, type saml.salesforce.com. Make sure to add the HTTPS at the beginning. On the Identity Provider Certificate, choose the certificate that we download from one login. On Issue, we'll need to collect the URL from one login. Coming back to the one login portal, copy on the Issuer URL. Paste it on Issuer field. Identity Providing Login URL go back to one login and copy the SAML 2.0 endpoint. On Salesforce, paste it on the Identity Provider login URL. Finally, copy the SLO endpoint and paste it on the custom logout URL. Now, on the SAML identity type, I'm going to select Assertion contains the Federation ID from the user object. This means I'm going to check the username which has been sent from one login with the Federation ID value in the user object in Salesforce. If you don't want to authenticate using the Federation ID field, leave the default option. Now save the changes. Now, in the quick find box type My Domain. On Authentication Configuration, click on Edit. Enable the single sign-on one login as the authentication service and click on Save. Before to test out the single sign-on, we need to have a look into the Federation ID in the user object. On my user record, I'm going to click on Edit. Scroll down to the single sign-on information and you'll find the Federation ID. If I go to one login one more time, 
then select users, open my user account. You'll see my username. This value is the one that is going to authenticate with the Federation ID. So it's important that both values matches. So I'm going to copy the username, go back to my user record in Salesforce, and paste the username on the Federation ID field. Now save the changes. At this moment, I know the username and my Federation ID matches. However, there's one last step to do. Go back to one login, and now click on the Access option. As of now, none of this role has access to this application. By default, my user account is using the default role, so I'm going to provide access to this role. Save the changes. Once I gain access, let's see how the single sign-on works. I'm going to the home page in one login. As you can see, the Salesforce application now is available. So when I click on it, I'm redirected successfully to Salesforce. This concludes the video how to configure single sign-on with one login. Thank you for watching.